The bite is turning on. I kinda hope it's a grouper. I hope it's not a cuda. Real fast, man, I saw a shark earlier. No pressure. That yellow mouth, I saw a shark chase it. Daniel is caught. Oh my goodness. Grouper bite is on. My muscles like fire right now. Guys, this is big. This is really big. Whatever we gotta do. Oh no. Real big shark. Fish on. It is now. I don't know what time it is. It's past breakfast time. After breakfast. After breakfast. And as soon as the boat stopped, we dropped it. Same, same jig we were using earlier. It's the Jig Pro Strike Jig. We are in deeper water, so use 340 grams. And it's the skinny streamlined jig, so it just goes straight down. Holy cow. All right, earlier we were getting sharked a lot. So hopefully we don't get sharked. And hopefully I can land this fish for once. We haven't officially landed a fish yet. My name's Emily, a man's behind the camera. This is Kona. Welcome to our channel, Guilt Force Twins. Take a guess. I don't know, how, how deep are we? 300. 300? I kind of hope it's a grouper. Ooh. Do you have any guesses? Uh, I'm going mutton. Mutton? Yeah, All righty. How much more line do you have to reel? A lot. <laughs> we got color. Got some super deep color. It's high. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. I think. I was oh, right! You're right! I was right! It's a it's grouper. A grouper. Oh, oh, nice sorry. grouper, Emily. Look at that. Oh, he's just gonna pick it up. Alright, getting risky. <gasps> Over the rail. Red grouper. First fish in the boat. Ready to put a fish tag in, in him? Yeah, let's, let's do it. it. Red grouper. Red first official fish of the entire Yankee Cap series so far. Well, it's only the first morning. It's only the first morning, guys. Like yeah, forever. I know, but it was a slow morning. There's been action. It was a slow night leading into the morning. There's been action, but not. There's been action. All right, red grouper. I feel like we kind of want to hurry up and okay, get so back get out. Let's box. just get him in the box. Get him in the box. Guys, Daniel just caught, oh my goodness, a yellow mouth grouper. Bring this guy in the boat. The grouper bite is on. Wow. Nice fish. Nice. Fish. On. Whoa. Reel him in. Reel him in. Reeling. Reel him in. Reeling him in. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking grouper. The grouper bite was instant when we got to the spot. <laughs> All right, here we go. He's coming up. The bite was so fast, I dropped my bait down. I think I did three jigs. Hit, as soon as I hit bottom, it was on. So, it's not too much line out. Shouldn't be too scoped out. He's coming in fast. I think it's a grouper. Here we go. Real fast, man, because I saw a shark earlier. Okay. No pressure. That yellow mouth, I saw a shark chase it. Here we go, we're scoping up. Scoping up already? Yep. <gasps> what was a grouper? It's a scamp. Scamp. Scamp grouper. Ooh. Amanda. You just caught. You just caught a, a scamp, scamp grouper. So guys. Okay, these groupers, delicious. So good. Some of the best eating groupers you will ever catch. So this is scamp grouper and we can tell because they've got that mermaid tail. Mermaid is the best tail. way to think of it. They've got those extra long fins on either end. Some That's what makes a makes scamp a scamp. Some people confuse scamps and yellow mouth. Yellow mouth, but yep, they so have. they do have the yellow mouth and the yellow fins. and the yellow fins. But they've got the extra tail flare and their um, body, their pattern. It's a little, a little bit different. It's unique to the scamp. There we go. 
Congratulations, Amanda. Is that your first fish on the trip? It's my first whole fish on this trip. Your first whole fish, so we went red grouper, scam red grouper, grouper back scam back. grouper back to back. Let's both, go get both on the, the strike. On the strike, jig pro jig. jig, pro jig. The bite is turning on on the jigs. <laughs> nice. That is a large black fin snapper, because you guys, if you look at the fin, Amanda show them the black fin. We also call them ham. So this, you see the black fin right there. That's what makes it a black fin snapper. And when a big one, we just call it a ham bone. When I first hooked up, it was just like dead weight. It didn't really feel like anything. I thought maybe I was hooked up with someone on the other side of the boat. And I'm gaining, but it's really not fighting. It's just literally so like dead weight. So you've got another weight. dead weight fish. Another dead weight fish. But it's heavier than our sand tile? Oh yes. Significantly heavier than our sand tile? Oh, I see color. All right, we're already at color. Oh man. And, <laughs> um, what it's is someone that? else. Oh, it's bait. It's oh, someone you else. Caught, you caught somebody else. Caught somebody else. So not quite a fish. <laughs> no. There's somebody as um, butterflied valley food. Okay. <laughs> I don't even think they know it, to be honest. They, I think I just no reeled that whole thing up. You gotta be really careful that they don't start reeling when he has that in his hand. <laughs> That'd be bad. It's gone. All right. Thank Let's you. Let's try again. Back in action. <laughs> Okay, so here is the Jig Pro jig that I used to catch the red grouper. I caught the red grouper, wow. And I caught the scam. And I caught the scam. So it's the Strike Jig, 340 grams. Guys, we're in pretty deep water, so I want us to make it down fast and quick. And I got assist hooks on either side. Super skinny, super glowy. You can see the teeth marks. Check out those teeth marks. Teeth marks. Teeth marks. Super awesome jig. All right, we moved spots and we are deeper now. How, how deep did Greg say we were? 26290. Oh, uh, on. Close All right, goal, so double. Like 300 feet of water. I, since we're deeper, I went with another strike jig, Jig Pro Strike Jig. It's the 440. But it's the now, 440, right? so it's 100 grams <gasps> heavier. Oh no. Please Real. don't be a shark. Well, that was a good run, but I think it's still a fish. All right, Emily's gonna make her way down the side of the boat. Keep reeling, Emily. Don't stop. Sorry. You still gaining? I was when I was walking with it. See him? So what? What's been happening? It's just I've had two big runs. Two big runs. But it's not running like but a shark. Three big runs. I hope it's not a cuda. Ooh. Not. Ooh. Don't give up. Uh oh. A, whoa, oh. that looks scary it's right there. Like, I don't know. It could be like. No, it's definitely an ice fish. It's gonna Mutton. be a grouper. Rupert. or something. Doing a little bit of a gunnel cranky? Yep. Whatever we gotta do. Yeah, I'm gaining. For those of you that are new here to slow pitch digging, you guys can check out the rod. It's like a noodle. All right, yeah, let's do that. So if you're new to the slow pitch, um, what is it? The slow pitch craze. Jigging, fishing technique. That's going on right now, the technique. Yes. So the rod itself is very skinny and noodle-like. I think you guys can see that. And they're designed for hooking fish not necessarily landing the fish. But you can land them. Yes. They're very strong rocks. Yes, they are. So high sticking them or fighting them in your hip is not necessarily really gonna benefit you. You're better off just low. And if you can, just sit there and reel and then do small pumps, but nothing other than that. Get it, girl, come on now. Okay, Emily, are you taking any guesses? No. No, no, no way, right? Not yet. My muscles like fire right now. How long has it been, you think? I don't know. It's wow. 10 plus minutes. How much more do you gotta go? I feel like any minute we're gonna see color. Any minute. As long as it doesn't make another run. Oh, I see color. I see color. You see color. I see it too. It's big. It's big. Oh, color. It's shiny. Is it a jack? It's a jack. Amber jack? Whoa. Guys, this is big. This is really big. There it is. 
nice big jack. Here he comes into the boat. Oh my gosh. There he is. Holy cow. A big amber Almaco jack takes up the whole deck. Can you do it? Oh my gosh, it's like half your size. Look at that. Can you pick it up? Can you bicep curl it? Nice <laughs> job. We've got, okay, drop it on the deck. We've got a giant Almaco Jack caught on the 440. It's underneath there hiding. Yeah, here. Pull it out. Here, here we, we go. go. Strike 440. Jig Pro Jig. Look at this. Oh Insane. my goodness. Amanda, Jake. let's get the scale. Oh, good idea. Scale. Here we go. Everyone sees? It's zero pounds. Yep, zero Kay. pounds. There you go. Nothing. Um, Where are you going to put it? Okay. Can you lift All right, it? Alright, it's off the ground. Oh, I got to read it. 20. 24 pounds. 24 pounds. <laughs> Guys, this thing looks a lot bigger than that. But oh, wow, that's an amazing catch, Emily. Good job. Thanks. I, I don't want your handle. No, it's clean. Clean hand. Okay, <laughs> then I'll take it. We're on. I believe we're on. Um, there's these little baby snappers everybody's catching. Like vermilion. Vermilion, ham bone. So there's a fish there. He's very small. But I believe we're on. So you're just sitting and whining. Keep whining. Well, I think he came off. You think he's off? I think he's off. Oh, your bites are so little. You're this far, man. Now you're just going to reel him up. I'm dropping him back. Dropping him back. Dropping him back. All right. Make this fast. Okay. You're gonna bait out over there. It's gonna be fast, don't worry. This Look is... at the fish between your feet is what I was trying to say. All right, so we have yellow, yellow eye. eye. Is that yellow. a giant yellow eye? It's a giant, giant yellow eye. Huge yellow eye. We have a giant yellow eye. It was so big I wanted to say ham bone, but obviously not, missing that black fin. Got a giant yellow eye. So I'm guessing, because everyone's been catching fish actually smaller than that one, this is gonna be fast. Probably what I have. He's not fighting too hard. He's definitely on there. You looked up pretty quick? Yes. Pretty right, quick. Let's get this fish oh, in the boat. Come on. Yeah. Working real, on real, it. Real. I got a bait out there. <laughs> Here it is, Amanda. My yellow, yellow eye, eye snapper. snapper. Guys, okay. these are some large. These are big ones. Typically, I mean, yeah, this is a nice one. So obviously the yellow eye is why it's called a yellow eye. Now there's a fish that's very similar to these and they're called vermilion snappers. But the vermilions will have like an eye, like a kind of the color of their, their skin. All right, so the vermilion snapper will have a pinkish eye and then some yellow like lines down the side. And this is a yellow eye. It's also a red snapper, yellow tail snapper. These have yellow tails too. Lots of different kinds of snappers. But these are like deeper water snappers. My personal favorite. <laughs> it's time for a really quick lunch break, guys. I can smell the food cooking. So I'm gonna go put this fish on ice, go eat lunch. We're going to get back to you guys in our next video, but in the meantime, once you get out there, have fun and stay safe.